is. After the U.S. military's recent takedown of what it called a Chinese spy balloon in U.S. airspace, China on Wednesday threatened to retaliate against U.S. entities in an escalating diplomatic spat. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbing. China has repeatedly explained the situation to the U.S., but the U.S. has abused force and overreacted to escalate the situation and used this as a pretext to illegally sanction Chinese enterprises and institutions, to which China resolutely opposes and will take countermeasures against the relevant U.S. entities that harm China's sovereignty and security. Washington and Beijing are locked in a tussle over flying objects after the U.S. military this month shot down what it called a Chinese spy balloon over the coast of South Carolina. Beijing says its balloon was a civilian research vessel, mistakenly blown off course, and that Washington overreacted. This week, China countered that U.S. balloons had flown over its airspace without permission more than 10 times in the last year, a claim Washington denies. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman told an audience at a Brookings Institute event on Wednesday that the accusation is false. They have now said that there have been a gazillion balloons by the U.S. over China. That is absolutely not true. There are no U.S. government balloons over China, period. Uh, John Kirby, the NSC spokesperson, uh, said that publicly. Washington has added six Chinese entities connected to Beijing's suspected surveillance balloon program to an export blacklist, angering the Chinese. The balloon dispute has delayed efforts by both sides to mend relations, although U.S. President Joe Biden has also said that he does not believe ties between the two countries were weakened by the incident. And sources have said that U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who postponed a planned trip to Beijing over the balloon, is considering meeting China's top diplomat in Munich this week. Getting more information 